Today, we reach the end game of hardcore Minecraft. I've acquired full netherite armor and an unlimited supply of totems of undying, and I've spent over 400 days building my base. I'm finally feeling safe inside of this world, but it's time to change that. My goal today is to kill the ender dragon, find an elytra, and gather up a massive supply of shulker boxes from the end dimension, killing the wither for my first beacon. Leave a like for your flipper and please subscribe, but let's get rocking. Before diving into the end and potentially ending the entire series, I want to make sure the base is looking fantastic, starting right here. Bow mealing some dark oak trees and gathering up some of the wood as I'm nearly out of stock, so I really want to restock the storage room. Then moving on to getting a bunch of jungle logs as I've recently fallen in love with jungle trapdoors, so I'm definitely finding a way to use those inside of this build which diving right into the first build of the day, my friends, here starting off with a small stables that has space for two animals. I wanted to create something that would fill out this space but not block off the sight lines to any of the buildings. So I wanted to have a reinforced side next to our starter house made out of stones and then the rest of the barn looking like it's made out of wooden materials built off of that reinforced wall with a copper slab roof attached on top. After that, I wanted to frame in the village square by adding a tough retaining wall as we've done previously and then smoothing out the train on top with a bunch of coarse dirt to make it feel like an area we're walking around. Detailing out a little bit more, I created a small seating area with some flowering azaleas and moved into developing a large oak tree to go in the corner, creating three large branches or limbs coming off of it that we can later on decorate with a bunch of leaves. I'm really happy with how this corner is turning out over here. You can see all of the branches, the limbs and everything with the fences coming in here and I started throwing in a lot of oak leaves, which just flying through them here in a time lapse, getting everything put down into place and it's looking so good. After that, because this has been bothering me literally since episode two, I decided to fix the wheat field down there and actually bring it down so it didn't just have a harsh edge. And with the final little addition here in our very, very lush corner, I want to throw in a large pot right like that. Now we got two stalls available and I know just the one I want to grab. And since I'm here, I'm going to pick a few flowers. Oh, there's a horse on my bed. That's not a bad omen, right? No, <laughs> or should I say, nay, I'll be leaving now. And our majestic horse on a hill. Oh, good hearts, good hearts, and quick to love us. But that's the only quick thing about him. Well, this is our horse now, we can't give him up. Now, are you a jumper? Oh, well, you, my friend, since you're the first one here, you get the big stall, enjoy. And for our final noble steed, the donkey. Come on, buddy, we gotta move quick, Hey, time now. There we go, love it. And have a chest, oh, we gotta run, we gotta run, Woohoo! Well, our donkey over here is definitely not a jumper. There's there's no way. You can't even jump two blocks. <laughs> Welcome home, buddy. Speaking of which, I need names for both of these, the white horse and our beautiful donkey over here. Now, I think I've earned it at this point. I think I've earned the ability to take a day off and just relax. And I've got a whole private lake to myself down here with some few squiddies. Squid infestation will be dealt with later on, but right now we've got a fishing hut to build. Getting some materials together in my absolute mess of a storage room, I grabbed a load of oak, spruce, birch, copper, and some tough blocks. I want to build a large wooden dock with a house on stilts over the water, itself bringing some stripped spruce logs in as a platform and using a load of trapdoors and slabs to help give it some depth into the dock, along with a retaining wall to hold back all of the earth before I started on the build itself, where I can either sit on the dock fishing or I can use a boat to launch out into the middle of lake and fish over there from this little covered dock area that you can see me building right now. For all of this stuff, I wanted to bring the oak into the walls with the spruce on the corners to match all the other styles we're going for here with a little bit of a simple spruce flooring to match the dock and everything like that that we're connecting over to the land here. But from this point, I want to focus back on the house where I got these little windows coming on and then the second story and bringing in a load of the copper that I want to let oxidize all the way down to the final level before bringing in a chimney that we'll be able to use in there. Not not using camphor on this one to help save a little bit on the lag inside of this world, but moving on with the decorating and finally the pathway to get ourselves out of here. I thought it would be really entertaining to build a giant oversized fish. So I got started on a little bit of a crane as if we hauled this out of the lake. No idea how it would live down here, but we got it. Definitely looks derpy, but it looks like a fish. So it'll do for now. But our fishing shack is now finally completed. And the final step here is connecting the fishing shack up to our village using a path. 
In order to find the end stronghold and the portal, I need Eyes of Ender, which require blaze rods for blaze powder and ender pearls. Now, as blaze rods will help with the other two resources, we need to get those sorted first. I'm gonna need nine stacks of glass for this build here to get started, so I have quite a bit of time to spend down here with the villagers, trading for as many emeralds as I can get so I can actually buy the glass later. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please don't die. Accidentally hurting a villager aside, I kept on trading and waiting. So much waiting. But we finally have a full nine stacks of glass for ourselves. Keeping on theme, I needed a load of magenta dye for the glass, along with grabbing a bunch of other blocks. It's time to dive into my favorite dimension of happy fun times. <laughs> I can survive this. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I did it. I survived. There it is. Here we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Right. So we need to clear a lot of space out here. This blaze farm is thankfully really small, but the pain, oh my gosh, the pain is endless, endless amounts of pain from building the, in this stupid dimension. It never stops. Trying to dig out the area for the blaze farm. I was constantly attacked by blazes and skeletons and all I'm saying, infinity bow, best bow. Well, we got the area cleared out for the most part. Now it's time to actually build this dang farm. The easy part's over. Creating a giant box out of stained glass with a bunch of deep slate on the corners for ourselves i joined in on an unending battle of placing glass and killing blazes constantly place five glass kill five blazes place five glass kill more blazes they just keep spawning all over the place they're just everywhere oh they all drop down with me <gasps> simon says go to the top of the box <laughs> look at them simon says go to the bottom of the box oh look at them oh i have a choreographed dance team of blazes that want to murder me now, i don't know if this is gonna work if it's even 50 blocks but i am way shy oh i got it up in the wood <laughs> sniper duel done distraction aside i built up the killing chamber and collection chamber before throwing all of the lava in and rushing up to the top to place in the final slab on top of the spawner choreographed dance team to the bottom of the box please Holy cow, I've been here for 30 seconds and we already have a stack and a half of blaze rods. Not to mention the 32 I had just from building the farm alone. Dance team, it's been a pleasure. I'll be back for practice later. Since I'm here, I want to knock another advancement off the list. Slowly working through all of them, and I think the last biome I need to touch is the warped forest. Here we go. Yes, we got it. Perfect. Before I go home, I'm gonna grab a bunch of stuff from this forest. There we go. Full stack of everything. <laughs> Blaze rods checked off the list. Now it's time to move on to Ender Pearls. This we can achieve through Cleric Villagers, meaning it's time to dive into the cave village and add on a building for our clerics to hang out. We've got some space cleared out for ourselves now, and I want to build a big massive structure along this entire wall to hold the clerics and to hide the mess of a villager breeder down here. I got to work on crafting and gathering up a whole ton of materials for the cleric villager trading hall, getting what I could out of the mine storage room before running down to the diamond level to gather a bunch of cobble deep slate. I filled my entire inventory up and managed to get 25 diamonds in the process, dumping my entire inventory into the elevator before taking the minecart up to the copper level where I started mining for a bunch of granite and andesite. My goal here is to cover up the villager breeder as mentioned and stack up a few more buildings on top of it to make it feel like there's a bunch of people living down here and building up the side of the cliff. Starting off with the villager breeder entrance though, I'm using dark oak tough and stone bricks with some acacia to highlight and bring a little bit more attention to it before bringing in a load of redstone lamps for some light sources at the top and a little bit along that technical vibe. From there, I want to extend the top up with a small stone brick building. I did run out of glowstone, however, so back into the stupid nether, I had to go for even more blocks. But thankfully, it was pretty easy to get these in a quick trip right back out of there. But right back into the building as well, I got to work on a brick granite and polished granite build over here and bringing in some stripped spruce logs for the second floor on one side to break it up. Since I already built the village down here on episode four, this style is really set in stone quite literally so i can take elements from the other builds and add them all together in different ways to make all of this stuff work together here so you can see them all stacking up together like this and i absolutely love the result we have so far but adding in some interest by bringing in a massive white tower in the background 
we can get this whole point kind of standing out against everything else. If all of the things are just carbon copies of each other, it's going to be rather boring, but this way we can add some interest in while still bringing in the variety. So adding in some windows and everything like that, and even a top floor balcony for whoever is in charge of the chapel can stand there and look out into the valley or the cave, I should say. It's kind of indoors over here, so it's not a valley. But moving on with that one, we've got the balcony up here. It's looking fantastic. And moving on to the roof as well, I want to connect everything up here before moving forward with a full copper roof to bring that extra vibe into this area of connecting everything in after the style has been established inside of the tower. I needed to find a way to bring our villagers over to this area. Since we actually have to connect up a railroad and we are on the far side of the cave, I couldn't use any of the existing systems. So I decided to bring a floating railway over here that we're kind of connecting up using a little bit of acacia as a way that we can build everything in here together. But we've done it. The exterior is now complete, turning this bland rock face into another awesome expansion to the village. Now I actually just have to deal with the clerics. My goal today is to get eight cleric villagers to start. Let's see what we can trade with them. If you would like to be a cleric. 10 minutes later, we finally have one locked in the trade and sent them off to the zombie conversion chamber. After getting three more ready to go, I realized I had no potions and no mine cards left. So I ran upstairs to my house to craft a bunch of stuff before bringing it all back down and getting the final four cleric villagers ready to convert. Eight villagers are ready to be converted. Just need to do a quick little potion over there and another noisy potion over here. While waiting for the villagers to become lovely members of society, I got busy finishing off off the rail line to the new training hall and digging it out a bit, working towards creating a new home for our clerics to hang out. To turn this into a unique place, but still within the feel of the village, I wanted to decorate their hall after amethyst geodes, creating a central walkway out of deep slate bricks and surrounding it with amethyst blocks before using some dark oak and some copper blocks for supporting pillars and beams going around the entire area surrounding all of the villager spots. From there, I incorporated some spruce and the amethyst crystals into the second floor shell if not the roof itself before finishing this whole thing off. Connecting the rails up, it was time to move our eight new cleric villagers over to their brand new home. There we go, everybody's home safe and sound. But first I need to make some emeralds to, you know, trade with the villagers. Two stacks emeralds should hopefully do it for us. It looks so good. Oh, I, I, I can't. I can't stop staring at it. But now it's time to try and max out as many of these clerics as we can. Two stacks of emeralds, definitely not enough. We can buy glowstone. <gasps> I don't have to go back to the stupid dimension of stupidness anymore. And there we go. We can now buy one ender pearl for one emerald. Amazing. Now this right here is exactly why I need shulker boxes. I'm not sure how much longer I can put this off for, so let's get on with getting to the end. There we go, 12 eyes of ender. We'll bring a few extra blaze rods. I've got extra totems. I've got extra food. We've got some glass bottles for dragon's breath. But one quick distraction first before we actually go, you know, fight this dragon. The one time I want a ghast. The one time. There's no gas. There we go. Look at him. It's a balloon. I mean, I did come all the way out here. I've got nothing else to distract myself with over here. But maybe I'll kill the spider because I can. Oh, wait, I forgot. I live streamed. Oh, let's get caught up in all of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, let's let's do that. That sounds great. I finally got some bamboo to make scaffolding back home and ventured into the jungle to tame a bunch of parrots. Finding two light blue parrots, one of them was an absolute glutton and wanted so many seeds, and then finally getting a gray parrot as well as a yellow one. You won't believe it. I did an interior. Check it out. The upstairs of the forge is now completed. We got a nice home inside of here and it's beautiful. All the way up to the balcony. Oh, stronghold. Oh, stronghold. Where are you? My one pearl would get stuck all the way up on top of the roof. Wait, I can steal their jack-o'-lantern. This outpost has been fantastic to have. All right, pearl, where are we going? That way. Oh, it's a witch hut. Witch hut, that hut. You have got to be kidding me though. This is all taiga biome. We can't use this for a farm if we wanted to. Oh, it went backwards, we passed it. Is it right here? It's somewhere in the swamp. It's. It could be a lush stronghold. There we go, the pearl's going underground. All right, we just need to dig down right here with all of the water into an entire flooded cave system. Oh, I love this so very much. There it is. Oh, I see stone brick. We've done it. We're in the fortress. 
And there we go. I see it. It's right there. Oh, silverfish. No, no, not silverfish. Anything but silverfish. I hate them. All right. We're good. <gasps> yes, we have enough. Just kidding. Just kidding. Always one shy. The Minecraft law. Always one eye of ender shy. Thankfully, I was smart and brought some backup blaze rods. There we go. Portal is open. I think I'm about as ready as I can be right here. Throwing the carved pumpkin on and we're on land. Let's do this thing. Dragon, I see you. It's a plane. Just the chain boxes left. I can get this. I can get this. There we go. The last one right here. Let's do it. Anytime now. There we go. I think that's it. I don't think the dragon's got anything more. I see you, dragon. I'm coming for those toesies. Oh, no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You can keep your toes safe. Halfway. Let's do it. There we go, dragon is dead. We've done it. We beat hardcore Minecraft. Just kidding. It's only just begun. Level 100, can we do it? Level 100? Oh, so close. Yes, level 100. It's time to pillar across the void a bunch and hope we don't die. Yay. Trap door down crawling in you have got to be kidding me look at that right there it's a boat it is. <laughs> oh my god you can't plan that <laughs> oh i love this all right we can't celebrate yet we got to get that elytra first this is so good though oh i love it my goal in the end is to come up with two full stacks of shulker shells for ourselves so we can have a total of 64 shulker boxes to work with at minimum 20 shulker shells so far. Let's keep going. My shells! Hello! Gauntlet round two, let's go! Oh my god. What is this luck? There's another entity with another ship. Look how tiny that thing is. It's basically just a dock. We're on. We're on the ship. We're on the ship. Let's get the shells. There it is. The elytra. Give it to me. That would be so good if it was a pickaxe. <laughs> oh, what? Never mind. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. Hello, my beautiful. This feels so good and so right. Minus the pumpkin. I don't have any rockets, but I'm going to wear it for now just to be extra super duper safe. But we got to take the first flight. Oh, it feels good. Oh, it feels good. It's good to be back. It's good to have the wings back. I still have a ton of cobblestone left. So let's keep on exploring a bit more and see what else we can come up with. I put one hour on the clock and tried to see how much stuff I could find in the end. I already have shulker shells and I already have an elytra. So everything at this point was just a bonus. And flip stonk prices are up because the bonus was huge. Sorry, terrible joke there. This is the best end seed I think I've ever seen. Every time I finished exploring one end city, I was able to spot another one within the same view distant, mopping up shulkers in every single city and moving on for even more loot, filling up my inventory with even more and more and more diamond gear, extra elytra, bonus shulker shells. Ow, 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 that was, yeah, yeah, okay. I deserved that one. That was not my best move. Oh my gosh, we got it. Haha, -ha, check it out. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten that advancement before. I'd like to go down now, please. I'd like to go down now. This is great. I'd like to go down. Thank you. We swooping in. I'm really glad I had my elytra on. I kind of forgot to check. There we go. Another elytra and a whole bunch more diamond gear. That brings us up to just under four stacks of shulker shells. I'm ready to go home now before I overstay my welcome. Oh, there's the exit portal. Okay. I thought I lost it. Okay. Let's go home. I spawned an endermite for one and two I missed. Wow. There we go. Second try. Home sweet home. And it's very dark out here. Nope, creeper. Nope, 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 nope. I should put my chest beat us on. Back home and feeling very accomplished after that end rating session. But I want to spread my wings and fly. And for that, I need a new pair of boots. 
and I get the elytra enchanted. Now the boots I'm gonna need blast protection four on and we might be able to get a free enchant up here. Protection four, not quite. There we go, blast prot four. Oh, that's a good one. Now, reason being for getting this is because in hardcore Minecraft, if you only have one blast prot four item and are wearing your elytra, doesn't matter if you have netherite or anything else, a creeper has the ability to one shot you. And I didn't need those, did I? No, no, I did not. I needed this. But there we go. Another set of fully maxed out boots with blast protection. We got our Elytra with unbreaking three and toss some mending on it. All repaired down to a full stack of levels. I'm really glad I got that extra netherite at this point in time because we could just upgrade it right now. Ah, the second netherite booties. Now, anytime we want to fly, we put those boots on and we change our elytra. Next up, we got to get a creeper farm sorted and all that stuff. But first, I want to complete our transition into endgame hardcore Minecraft. It's time to get a beacon. So I'm putting this back on. Running right into the nether, I decided it was time to find a new nether fortress. Luck was not on my side today as it was in the end dimension, killing wither skeleton after wither skeleton. I wasn't able to find any skulls for over 20 minutes before finally we just got that one. This starts the grind for the final two wither skeleton skulls to summon the wither. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I've defeated well over 50 wither skeletons at this point and still have not even seen the second skull. one <laughs> we got it yes <laughs> three wither skeleton skulls acquired time to escape the nether and fight the wither and here we go the wither Get him, get him. He's walking towards us. He's walking towards us. We got it. We're gonna we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. It's gonna be totally fine. It's gonna be totally fine. He's almost halfway. Oh, that's a skull. That's a skull. How did that get all the way through here? Oh, he's doing everything. And he's immune. He's immune. Alright, we have to get in there and actually get him. We need a golden apple to be safe. We got him! We got him! Oh, we got him! We got him! Oh, yes, 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 yes. Nether star? acquired i'd like to stop dying now please ah there we go after so much hard work we finally have it the beacon we can finally do it tackle absolutely massive insane projects inside of hardcore minecraft like planting a field but actually though with every hardcore minecraft episode we do have to plant a brand new field within this world so here we got a brand new beetroot field coming in down by the river. It's not my favorite thing to do, but we're gonna go ahead and grab some blocks of iron over here for our beacon. For now, we're gonna leave it up here with a little bit of a resistance and some regen. Let's go. Soon you will be fully diamond out, my friend, soon. And with that, we are just getting started inside of this hardcore Minecraft world. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're brand new. But with that, my friends, I will catch you on the flip side.